want to give a special thanks to MGA for sending some of these dolls to us as a gift for free. What's up doll collectors, hobbyist fabs and besties. Today we are in our little rainbow high space. I think we made this in our rainbow divas video. So you know how I have my two to three doll rule on a new rainbow high launch? I've been sticking to it. From the most recent wave of Shadow High dolls, I got these two, and we showed them in a Does the Fit Fit video a while back. Then I bought this one shortly after. But that's only three dolls, so I'm still good. Then MGA sent us these two. I didn't buy them, so I'm still good. I did buy these two new Rainbow High dolls. Then MGA sent us these two. Still following my rules. Warning, I am probably going to destroy all of their names cause I haven't been watching the show. I'm mainly here for the clothes. Here is Diamant or Diamant. I'm finding the packaging a little challenging and I do not like all the little plastic things going through the clothes. It leaves holes. This doll is purple with a short haircut that has bangs. The hair appears to be white and a mint green. And there is tinsel. This doll comes with silver colored earrings, has inset eyes with lashes, sparkly pointy nails, comes dressed in a puffy jacket with an SH pattern. It has a lined hood that doesn't really fit this doll iridescent shorts with belt loops, faux pockets, and then there are pockets showing underneath, it velcros in the back, a white shadow high bathing suit, and a glittery sheer cat suit. I love that the jacket is lined. There are black platform boots with white bottoms and real laces and little pockets. There are also all of these little accessories. We have a makeup palette with a mirror, little brushes, a drink, and sunglasses. Love the makeup stuff. We also get a doll stand, a comb, and two hangers, which totally come in handy. I'm loving the fashion with Shadow High. The skin tones are just throwing me a little. So be careful with the glittery sheer stockings which I think are one of the highlights of this doll. It was just a little troublesome getting it off, so I don't know if I really want to try to put it on another one. But here is the look on our custom Georgia Bloom. And I kind of love it. Sorry, but I gotta do this. All doll clothes in my collection pretty much belong to Mini Toya. And this bathing suit, wow. The shorts are a tiny bit big on a classic Barbie, but I'm doing it anyway. The sleeves are a little short on the jacket, but we still might be able to use it in some photos. The boots are kind of nice. With a pair of socks, I think they will fit just fine. And I'm taking the drink too. Rex McQueen comes with a laptop. I love the tech. We have a silver colored laptop. It says shadow on the other side a cell phone with a case. Small details are the best. He also comes with a bottle of Glitterade, more hangers, and the usual stuff like a doll stand and a comb. Hmm. This doll comes with flocked hair with a little design around the side, wireless earbuds that are removable, a silver and pearl necklace, a black coat with a faux zipper, little silver details, and a shadow patch on the arm. Underneath, there's a black hoodie. I don't sparkle, I just have shade. Black pants with belt loops, functional pockets in the front, and in the back. I like the embroidery work. This doll has tall boots with laces. I think the sweatshirt is a little short on a Ken doll. The pants fit at the waist, but they're a little short on the leg but it looks comfy and cozy on Georgia, who we like to call Gigi. Ooh, and I love the look with those iridescent shorts. And the bodysuit with the baggy jeans could be a vibe. I wish the sweatshirt was a tiny bit longer, but I'm gonna rock it anyway. And once again, the arms of the jacket are short. 
And here's Glitch. I know I said I'm not a big fan of Shadow High, but Glitch is beautiful, in my opinion. We're getting a smoky eye, glossy lip color, rosy cheeks, painted baby hairs, super long hair in a ponytail. There is a little bit of product, but it's not bad at all. You know there's always a doll that makes me rethink my preferences. I'm getting super fashionable alien here, and I'm good with it. She comes wearing dark earrings, a black dress with wide sleeves, tails in the back, decorated with sequins and stitching. I am so glad this is a two-piece outfit. We have a long sleeve top with matching leggings that have heels included. Black painted nails, a microphone. Unfortunately, the rubber band is pulling off some of the paint at the bottom. Boy, how many microphones do we have now? Says the woman who is loving all the cell phones and makeup. And it's really cute how Rex's phone and Glitch's phone are showing their text messages. It's official. I love Glitch. Purple hangers and a dark glitter doll stand and comb are included. This little outfit is cute on Gigi. The top fits a Barbie, however, the legs are just a little too short because the shoes are attached. But I kind of like it best on the Shadow High doll anyway, so I'm okay with it. Do you see how long her hair is? I know that this doll is supposed to have the whole sci-fi vibe, but in my miniverse, it's all about Glitch, which is a nickname or a show name. I don't know. I haven't been keeping up. These dolls aren't coming with a second outfit. It looks like it's been subbed for the accessories. How do you feel about that? Let us know in the comments down below. Cause I'm liking the sewing machine. From the new wave of Rainbow High dolls, Kim caught my eye. I like the denim. She comes with a denim and faux leather jacket on her shoulders. It has a faux zipper and a belt. There's a strapless dress underneath with silver details going down the front. This doll has earrings that look like a large gem with the letter R. She comes with open toe shoes with silver details on the front, long blue and black hair styled with bangs. She comes with a blue doll stand and comb, a cell phone with a case, hangers, a sewing machine, makeup palette, and brushes. The sewing machine looks similar to the one that came with Jet. Oh, and she has long blue nails. Okay, beautiful. Let's see how that outfit looks on another doll. Nice, Gigi. And I just noticed there are pockets on the back. The dress is a little short on a Barbie, so you're gonna need an undershirt. Then throw on the jacket and it could work. Here is Michelle in orange with bright orange hair that stops at the shoulder, painted edges, silver hair accessories, bright orange lipstick, silver and orange earrings, a clear hoodie with words printed all over it. We even have some words in the back. It says Rainbow High since 2020. She comes wearing an orange dress with a high collar. There is a little bit of a shimmer to it. A little metallic detail at the chest. An orange belt. Super long orange nails. And fabric boots with faux zippers. Loving these scrunchy boots. This orange is super bright. Let's see it on a doll with a natural hair color. Here's the dress on Gigi. The dress is a shirt on a Barbie. So we have some options. This doll comes with a doll stand, an orange comb and hangers, orange sunglasses, makeup, wireless earbuds in white, a drink, and a cell phone with a case. I love the finish on this one. It looks pretty cool. We're getting a lot of cell phones. I bought Victoria because I was loving this soft color palette and all the freckles. She even has brown eyelashes. The hair color is like a strawberry blonde. Her makeup is pretty soft. However, I am on the fence about the lips. 
She has flower earrings, a ruffle top with flowers that has a gold cord that ties behind the neck, and the top velcros in the back. She comes with a matching ruffle skirt. Everything is decorated with tiny little pearls. Loving the embroidery work on the top and check out those little flowers. Loving the details. She comes with blush pink heels with painted gold details, a pink stand and hangers. We get a pink sewing machine this time, a pink makeup palette, a cell phone with a case, and a pink blow dryer. I guess if you passed on the Rainbow Divas, here's an opportunity to get some similar accessories. And there is like pink shading on this doll. Now that's a fun detail. I bet this outfit looks amazing on a number of Rainbow High dolls. And it's a pretty good fit on a classic Barbie. The Velcro is halfway on, but I'm gonna count this as a win. The freckles and the rosy shading makes this doll stand out for me. Last but not least, here is Priscilla. I'm loving all the different manicures. Here is Priscilla all in pink, pink hair with product, pink eyeshadow, pink lips, gold colored earrings. There's a pink stole or scarf with tulle pom-poms on the ends, long faux leather lace-up gloves, a pink satin dress with gems glued to the top and onto a belt with a gold RH in the center. The belt is sewn to the dress and it velcros in the back. She has matching heels with gold painted buckles. There's a pink doll stand and hangers, a compact, a pink laptop with some designs on the screen, which are also on her phone. And if you look at the bottom of Victoria's phone, you can see her post. Priscilla's phone is gold and the case is pink. There are three makeup brushes and a tiny lipstick. I think this is a fun dress to add to our Rainbow High wardrobe, even though the dress doesn't really fit a Barbie. But I'm kind of missing that second outfit. I've seen these dolls with prices ranging from $24.99 to $26.99. I love the idea of all the little accessories. We just might end up with quite a few sewing machines and laptops. But for some odd reason, I'm okay with all the cell phones. I guess we like what we like. Thank you for joining us while we took a look at Shadow High and Rainbow High dolls and tried on a few fashion items to see does the fit fit. If anything caught your eye, let us know in the comments down below because Glitch is totally one of my new favorites. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to ring the bell and follow us on Instagram at MyFroggyStuff, the frog vlog, and Bella of MyFroggyStuff. And we will see you next time.